What's the deal, YouTube? Jay with Exotic Ed here, coming at you guys with another vid, man. Uh, tour, a reptile convention, man. Herb's Conroe is going down, man. Got the crew with us. Gear on. It's a hot, hot fall day, man. Let's get it going, man. Let's go ahead and pay for our tickets, you guys. You want just one day? Yes, Anita. Let's get in here, you guys. That guy right there always, always has the tortoise and turtles, man. I don't know his vendor name, but we'll definitely get it today. He always has a great connection. Just to start it off, go for pair. Jeez, I need just a female, too. These are San Diego uh, Basin Gophers or Cape Baja Gophers. Come on, let's go regroup with you guys. Yeah, these are your bull snakes. They're super packed out here today, man. I mean, you can't even get to the vendors, man. Gotta come back to the salamanders. I think these are uh, Lulu's worms. I buy my feeders from them every time I come here. Uh, they go to Repticon in Pasadena. Uh, I buy my feeders from them when they come here. And they also have exolotls all the time. So this is my third time here. Like I said, I've seen a lot of these vendors before. Uh, a lot of their setups and whatnot. And uh, they got a lot of good quality animals every time. So that's that's good to know. You got your morgues, high-end morph ball pythons, orange green, yellow belly, $3. Um, that pie ball, high white pie ball, $6. Good quality high-end leopard geckos. All these geckos look pretty lively. Chill too. Awesome, awesome setups, man. Not too large in their in their enclosure. You know, not overly large to present them to you. We got tangerine. Usually they don't sell them at that stage. That's uh, when they first come out, they're blue and yeah. blue and red, yeah. They're cool looking little guys. That is a beast. Ian, how are you doing? All your supplies, your feeders for your geckos, your setups, caging and whatnot. I got some geckos over here, some crusties. Good quality premiums, regulars and whatnot. 40 bucks, 45 bucks, it's not bad. Especially for, you know, quality captive bred by, you know, like small breeders and whatnot. So that's, that's pretty cool. These are some of their large ones. Look at him, he's so cool. He's $1.45. Some of the babies. Look at these trans hypos, you guys. As you guys know or may not know, my nephew has a hypo uh, beardy. These are trans hypos and like hot citrus reds. They're so cool. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. I don't even know what he is. He's a crazy more. Look at that. Look at that little blue spot on there. That's crazy. Some more high end balls. And they got their logo right there too, if you guys can see. Cool high-end balls. Green tree monitor. Damn, he's so cool. Nice pass. I don't know if these are giants or these just are all adults, but they got some cool morphs and uh, for, uh, for good prices for sure. Gecko Element is their, is their whole deal. 
And uh, yeah, they got some good looking looking leopard geckos right here for sure. Look at that hot brown one. Both stripes, cruising. And every time I come to some arachnids, man, my heart breaks a little more for my damn scorpions thing, man. Rest in peace. Throwing the photo in now. Electric blue tarantula, I love those. You can't really see them in there. It's kind of tiny. So if you guys watch Chad's channel, you guys will know that you know he just covered this uh, this setup. But just the eye candy morphs. Look at their setup. I love these nice things at the top. It got their logo running across. It, it illuminates the whole area you're looking at. These are just a cool presentation. This is an awesome setup, and they got some good quality morphs, man. Reasonably priced for sure. They got four jeans in there. 100% head desert ghost. $1,100. That's that's great quality for the for a great price right there for sure. Awesome cork bark fixtures. That's a cool cool piece right there. 60 bucks. That's the only thing that kills me with a lot of. Uh, with a lot of enclosures and whatnot, man. You can make them DIY, man. Look, I'm, I would not, I mean, this is an awesome piece, don't get me wrong. And I'm definitely well worth 60, but I wouldn't pay 60 for this piece. But pretty cool pieces. So I just ran into this guy who's got a gorgeous hypo gopher, and this is a male. No, these are girls. These are girls. Oh my gosh. Look at that hypo gopher right there, not for sale. And that's a bull, of course. You guys know I like bull snakes too. And look at this. This is a bull black rat hybrid, man. That's so cool. Check them out. Check them out. Nice array of snake bits. For a guy who's going to school for uh, herpetology, man, and more specifically toxicology and uh, venom, man, this is. This is something that really intrigues me. A good quality snake pick, man, for sure. A good quality snake pick is always, always what you need when you're dealing with venomous animals. The length matters too for what kind of snake, you know? Uh, so, awesome little, cool to see them. Check it out, he's got his uh his setup for his, his crestus. He's got a nice little moss ball in there, some type of some type of moss. And uh he's, he's got his crestus set up a little more some clothes, a little bit super lively. Partial pinch like harlequin, reasonable price, I, I guess you could say. I mean that's just to be fair, I'm not too sure what what is an expensive harlequin. Look at that African fat tail gecko. Whoa, he's cool. You guys can kind of see him. You guys know me in real life, you know I got K's and Roos, man. Look at those, these peppers, man. Crosses, hybrid peppers, check those out. That's, that's something you don't see every day. So people, people fail to realize herps is not just reptile, it's all animal. Uh, so we got your rodents. He's dealing with a copperhead right there. That is a collected animal, but it's been in captivity for look about the, six Look months. at the cojones on that guy. It's <laughs> Check it out, pop belly pigs. 75 bucks. The gator man is getting gator lunch. I don't know why, but he has a fascination with, with buying food for his animals, but not making them food. <laughs> So this was like extremely anticipated for me and Chad coming here. 
carnivorous plants. I've heard about them in a the pet trade and whatnot. I've never seen them in person, so we're definitely going to check this out today. I don't know what in the world I'm looking at, but that looks like it'll eat something for sure. Whoa, 70 bucks. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> Desert Wolf Army, yeah. man, right here in the freaking You know place. how I remember? Your voice. Yeah. Because I, I watch your videos, I'm like... We got some baby giants, you guys. Retics. Berms. Feisty, feisty boa. Look at that guy. He is a feisty guy. Did we get that strike on camera? Whoa. Some pretty thick, pretty, pretty, uh, I guess you could say mature. I mean, not, not quite adult, not quite a baby either. Uh, Savannah monitors. I don't know what the price that. You guys see the shirt. You see the shirt, right? Q ears, a trig. I don't know, go to Chad's page. He'll tell you the, the exact. But uh, he's a dwarf caiman for sure. We got another dwarf caiman over here. He's a lot smaller. Got some torques over here. We got all the ancient reptiles over here, man. Sarcadas or African spur thighs. That's a young little hatchling. These are about two, uh, one to two yearlings. I think that's a uh, leopard, I want to say. Ridgeback musk, or just a ridgeback turtle. So the guys who breed this, uh, petflytrap.com, by the way, the guys who breed these Venus flytraps, they live right out here in Houston, what they say, up to some 15,000 plants. So my, 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 uh, what's the word? My assumption is that the care for these things aren't that hard. Some of your, your carnivorous plants, man, these things are crazy. Uh, basically what I was saying though is that, you know, it's, it's really not that hard to care for these things. So I'm, I'm really, really interested. That's your adult right there. That's an adult carnivorous plant right there. Baby Venus flytraps. Dude, I may get one. Baby Venus flytraps, you guys. That's crazy cool. Crocodile stink. Super cool crocodile skin. I'm not sure if he's captive bred or not, but he's definitely a baby. Some young water dragons, a lot younger than mine. I don't even know what kind of lizard that is coming. Tag knot? Tag tag pack? I don't know, I'm not sure. Euromastics. Yeah. That is overpriced for that image to look. White line gecko. Malaysia horn scissors. Yeah, we just watched the uh, home video on YouTube, man. Yeah. You got your red, blue, and green iguana. Huh? Exanthus, what the prices are. $3.45, which is expected because Xanthics are of course a little bit more expensive on the pet trade, man. Look at that blue one. He is freaking gorgeous taking a nap right there. Gargoyles. That is a gorgeous morph right there. Never even seen that morph. That's crazy cool. 3500 and now I, I could honestly see why I've never even seen that morph before. It's called Urban Camo. Crazy cool. Y'all done right today? Yes sir, absolutely. 
$3,500 specimen urban camo, man. Look at that. I've never even seen that. That is beautiful. You got a solid white belly. SMS more out of Longview, Texas. A little bit more up north in the pan towards the panhandle. And they've got some great quality morphs, you guys. That's quality. But he's got, of course, everything you need. His his tag in numbers for his animals, and he's got their weight. All their weights. I mean, just cool setup. Man, he's got it going on. Here goes some more, you, you know, cheaper, lesser known. Not, doesn't mean that it's a, a less of a greater pet or less of a cooler pet. These are some more of your less expensive animals. Uh, some some of your real true collectors like going after some of these animals because they can't really find them because they're so cheap on a, uh, the pet trade. Look at that golden gecko, a patternless leopard gecko, African fat tail, great plain skink. A black skink, which I don't even know where he's at. White tree frog. There goes some of your viv setups. I ain't gonna lie, uh, I really don't believe in anything over being a hundred dollars for ten gallon tanks, but it's the full viv setup with your hydro balls, your plantation soil, your cork bark, your leaf litter, your plants, everything for your terrarium. Your Low light fixture for 100 bucks. That is a damn good price, you guys. Cannot lie. We have, we have permits for the lawn. Yeah. Prairie dogs. Sugar gliders. You probably can't see them in here. Probably somewhere high around. The most gorgeous German short hair. Look how obedient he is in a convention full of people. Big pointer, just calm as a as can be, man. He's super cool. He's super cool. Of course, the bio dudes crew is here. Back around to Fascination Exotics. If you guys know about them, they do a, deal with a lot, a lot of venomous animals. That's a tiger rattlesnake. Shout out my boy Desert Wolf Army. He's got one. Uh, they, got, they got some stuff, some, some pit vipers, some, some tree, uh, tree pit vipers. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm babbled right now. Got it going on. I also have a cool array of non venomous snakes too. High end uh, retics and uh, rat snakes. Pine snakes. These are black pine snakes too. Wow. Those are in the gopher, bull, and pine family. And jeez. That guy's in shit. Captive bread, males, black pine snakes. Get in the comment box. Leave a thumbs up. That deserves a thumbs up right there. Look at that. It's a lot of people packed in. I can't get some of the more exciting animals down there, but uh, some pretty cool stuff. Some copperheads, pastel. These are more pastel copperhead, another pastel copperhead. Prairie rattlesnakes, which they don't get too, too big, but they're still fairly aggressive and, and dangerous for sure western diamondback green mojave simple viper black tail rattlesnake sidewinder i love sidewinders west african gabby male and female look at those guys Gecko setups for these guys. 
I mean, how Gecko set up uh, Geckos, but they also got some cool setups. It looks like this, these could definitely be for Gecko. Check out that whip blitz. Oh my gosh. There you go, you guys. That's why I said Gecko. Because it's called a Gecko Jungle. Or Gecko Junkie, I'm sorry. I, the print wasn't, wasn't right on that, but Gecko Junkie. That's the deal, my guy, PC Exotics, man. Check out everything he's got, man. It's a good friend of mine from down my way, down from Galveston, man. You guys show love, man. Out here at Herb's Conroe. Check him out. A lot of these uh, specimens, man, he bred himself. He mainly deals with leopard geckos. But uh, a couple of these corns, like I believe he bred these corns, these cayenne fires himself. Captive bred, captive born, high-end snakes, man. He's got a couple of lizards for you guys. We got our pickups, you guys. I'm gonna keep mine a little bit secretive, but this this one right here just I don't know, man. He's, look at this box. You know you're not getting some small. You, look at that box. So that's gonna be it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy viewing, man. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up. If you guys are from the area, you see me next time I come out here, man. Let me know. It was cool seeing Desert Wolf Army out here, you guys. Uh, join the Exotic FM, man. Uh, We'll show you the pickups later, so you guys take it easy.